Yo, what's happening everybody? This is Man Jamar. Come see y'all today with another video on how to do, uh, or basically how to uh, vectorize your drawings today. Any kind of drawing that you want to draw out. If it's something real simple, like this axonal that I'm about to do today, uh, then yeah, you can vectorize it using the pen tool. And that's what we're going to use today. So if you never use the pen tool, this is going to be maybe like a mid-level to advance on how to use the pen tool. There's so many different ways you can do this, but we're just going to show you guys one thing today on how to trace around this using the pen tool. So let's go ahead and hop into it. I already got, got the picture up. And first thing you want to do is add a new layer. And we're going to change the name to this as axle or axe handle. Because that's the first thing we're going to trace around. So we're going to do that. And we want to make sure we're clicked on the layer. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. And the more you use the pen tool, the more you'll understand what points and where to actually put the points at. So I put my first point here at the very top. That's where we're going to start at. Next point, I'm going to put it right there. And then we're going to go to the center at the bottom of the handle itself. And then we're going to go right there, right beside that point. And then we're just going to finish it off at the very top. Oh, didn't want to do that. All right, there we go. So now we got the handle uh, traced out. Now we want to take the no editing tool right here. And now you just click anywhere on the line and you just curve it to wherever you want it to go. And how I was able to do that, I was clicking and dragging at the same time while clicking on that line to actually uh, manipulate that line. Now I just want to click and drag somewhere in the middle of that line and curve that to where I wanted to go. And we're looking pretty good here. All right, let's take a look at that. And we're gonna use the handles. And like I said, man, I really get a glimpse of, like just get a grasp of how, like practice using this pen tool because using the pen tool is gonna be essential to anything that you do in design. I use it a lot whenever I'm just, when I want the design to look exactly how I drew it out. All right, so we got the handle. So now what we want to do, we want to add another layer. And we're going to name this axe or axe blade head. I'm just going to name it axe head. Now I'm going to get my pen tool again and make sure I'm clicked on this layer right here. And we are going to start at the very top right here at this corner. And we're going to make another corner. And we're going to make one right here. And then I'm going to go all the way to the actual handle is where the actual end of the blade itself. And you'll see why in a second why I'm doing that. So, all right. That is now done because I closed it off. So, now we want to take this first angle right here or this first line of this. And we're going to curve this line. So where we want it. All right. Got that. Now you want to take this next line somewhere in the middle. And you want to pull that out. And like I said, your picture is just your guide. And since we got kind of like a straight line, a curve right here. We want to not go to the middle. We kind of want to go about right here. Because that's where the curve is. Right? And. About right there, all right. And want to okay, this one we want to do. Want to take this one right here. You want to straighten this out a little bit to where these two points are straight. You want to move one of the nodes right here. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now that we got a baseline of the axe head done. You know what? One more thing I'm going to do. I forgot to do this part. 
I'm gonna go right here. This is the actual, I guess, the end of the blade. Gives you that sheen look whenever you're actually putting the detail work in. And there you go, got that done. Now that we got the axe head done, now we want to go back and kind of match this up a little bit right here. The axe head is, or the axe handle itself. And we want to pull that up. And then we're going to pull this down a little bit right there and then go right here. And that looks pretty good. So now that you got your outlining done, now let's do some detail work. So next thing I'm going to, I'm going to name this right here. Or I'll go back over here on my curse. All right. One thing this axe handle detail. And this is everything that's on the inside of that axe. From the wood grain lines to the actual, the little uh, hole that's actually inside there of the actual, uh, the axe itself. All right, so next thing I want to do is to give, to use your detail or to give your design detail, you can use the vector brush tool. I'm using a mice today, but in future videos, I will show you how to do this in a different way. So now we're just giving that the detail. And you can actually make that run over a little bit. And I'm going to show you why in a second. And I'm going to go right here. And there you go. That. Just keep going down. All right. Going to let that run over a little bit. over all right cool almost done here all right last one and the reason why I'm not making this so perfect is because you know there's nothing perfect on the axe handle <laughs> all right so the last thing you want to do is just take your uh ellipse tool right here and you want to just want to click and drag that out and then we're going to change the field color to black and there you go all right so you got your axe handle details now right so now what we want to do since all this stuff is on the outside of the lines and i did that on purpose because i want to show you guys how to do this so what you want to do you want to open up your axe handle layer and you see this layer right here um, where it says curves. This is actually the outlining of the curves that you did. You want to click and drag this and drop it straight into that layer. And what that is, is that basically is like a, like a mask, like you're masking it inside of this layer right here. And anything, like basically you can take this and you can move it around. Well, not like that, but <laughs> you can basically take the axe handle details and you can move it around inside of that layer. So it's pretty cool. So other than that, that's pretty much it. We're going to take away the image. And now you have a perfectly uh, well designed uh, axe. So one thing, I, one last thing I am going to show you. You can take the cornering tool right here and you can actually round these corners off. Not like that. <laughs> Hold on. Not like that. So what you got to do, you got to click and hold shift. And then that rounds off the edges right there. And there you go. You got a perfectly, perfectly image traced using the pen tool of your image that you just drew out. And like I said, you can do this with any image that you draw out. Some are going to be more lengthier than others to do, but if you want perfectly clean lines, you can use the pen tool every single time whenever you want to vectorize one of your drawings and stuff, and it will come out like this every single time. And like I said, if you guys want me to go more in detail with using the pen tool, 
comment below or message me anytime you want to. I'm on all social media platforms, so just let me know. But other than that, this is it for this video for today. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everybody staying with me today and learning how to use the pen tool to vectorize one of your images. And I will catch you guys later. See you later.